Hey everyone, we're going to state the number of positive real zeros, negative real zeros, and imaginary real zeros for each function using Descartes' rule of signs. So basically, uh, Descartes' rule of signs is uh, for the reals, real solutions. Uh, the imaginary zeros we're going to get from uh, inference of what we get for the positive and negative. So let's do the positive real zeros first. That's real. All right. So basically, uh, the easiest way is just to plug in a 1. And what we're going to do is get the changes in the signs of coefficients of the terms. So I'm just going to write the coefficients if I plug in 1 in all these x's. This is going to give you 7, 3, negative 2, negative 1, and 1. And let's look at the sign changes. 7 to 3 does not change signs. 3 to negative 2 is a sign change. Negative 2 to negative 1 is not a ch sign change. And negative 1 to uh, 1 is. So according to this, we have two real positive zeros or less than this by an even number. So it could be two or zero. Now for the negative reals, <coughs> negative real zeros, you do the same thing, but instead of one, let's plug in negative one. And what that does is it changes the signs for the odd powers, because uh, that's x to the 1. So you're going to write everything down, but change the sign for the odd powers. Negative 3, this is negative 2. Now we have 1 and 1. Now let's look for the sign changes. This is a sign change. This is not. This one is. And this one's not. So that means, again, we have two yeses. That means we have that or less than this number by an even number. So just subtract two and you get zero. Now let's infer our imaginary um, zeros. Remember, imaginary zeros come into twos. So that's both positive and negative. For example, if you have 3i as a solution, then also negative 3i as a solution. So you don't have to do positive negatives on those. Now, if we have, now we're going to uh, look at our positive. If we have 2 positive and 2 negative, our degree here is 4. So you can only have 4. That means if you have 2 positive and 2 uh, real, that means you have 0 imaginary. If you have 2 positive and zero negative, then you would have two imaginaries. And vice versa, if you had zero reals and two negative, you would still have two uh, imaginaries. Also, if you have um, zero positives and zero negatives, then that would mean you have four imaginary zeros. And that's it. Thank you. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.